high-profile case putting the president's executive power to the test. Critics arguing the Trump administration plan would alienate immigrants and lead to an undercount, putting a state's political power in Congress and federal funding at risk. Doug McElway live outside the U.S. Supreme Court today for the rundown. Doug, good morning. Good morning, Bill. And it boils down to just one little question on the census questionnaire. It's been on the census questionnaire for better than a, a century now. It was on the uh, census questionnaire from the years 1820 through 1950. And then in 1950, they stopped putting it on the census questionnaire. Now the Trump administration and Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross in particular want it reinstituted reinstitu on the census questionnaire. It asked basically... How many citizens live in this household? Well, in January, a federal judge in New York barred the government from including that question on the census. Normally, the government would appeal the case to a court of appeals. But in this particular case, the government believes that immediate action is necessary because the census questionnaire has to be printed by the end of this June. So there's tremendous urgency. And that little question on the census is of immense political impact. The census determines how many electoral votes any one state has, how many congressional representatives any one state has, and how many federal dollars are divvied out to the states. So after the 2010 census, Texas got four more members in the House. New York lost. It's significant. Significant. Yeah, like New York lost yeah. two. And so the challengers say that states with large populations of undocumented immigrants could lose members in the House. They could also lose federal funding. Opponents of the citizenship questionnaire question argue that there, because there are so many people now living in the United States who are not citizens, the inclusion of the citizenship question would scare respondents off. In fact, the United States government, its own analysis, suggests that 6.5 million people won't respond to the census, meaning that in those states where illegal aliens tend to congregate, they could be deprived uh, of various federal benefits as well as federal representation. Uh, the morning calendar on the court has been cleared for this sole argument, another indication of just how urgent the issue is. We expect a decision certainly by the end of June because that's when the census has to be printed, but likely much in advance of that. Bill Sander, it's back to you. a big issue. Thank you, Doug McElway, and the steps of the U.S. Supreme Court.